everybody, what's going on? Just uh, headed down to Joplin, got the boys with me, got Elijah here, got Owen with me here. And we're headed down to uh, Joplin to visit my dad a little bit. And then I think we're gonna go down to Spring River and try to catch some white bass today. We got the boat hooked up, we're gonna go down there. I think they're running up the river a little bit right now. But just wanted to take a couple minutes and do today's tip a little bit based upon uh, some questions I've been getting quite a bit in my comment section. And I, I've been getting a lot of people asking about bank fishing, you know, tips on bank fishing. And uh, I guess there's more people that bank fish out there than what I thought there was because I've been getting a lot of questions asking about bank fishing. So, um, man, I've had a lot of experience fishing on the bank because, like I said, I fished a lot when I was little, when I was younger. You know, I didn't get my first boat, you know, until I got my little beat up 14 footer I talked about when I was 16. And even then, I continue to do a lot of bank fishing because, man, I, you know, waded creeks all the time. You know, I fished off the bank before in lakes before I had uh, a boat, you know, fishing off the banks and ponds. So I got a lot of dirt time as far as fishing off the bank goes. So just want to really share a few tips with you guys that might help you guys out as far as, you know, just knowing where and when and how to fish off the bank. Because a lot of people, that's what they do, like they bank fish. So the first of all, the first thing you have to realize or decide um, is, and I'm going to assume we're talking about, uh, uh, you know, lakes here because, you know, when you're waiting ponds and when you're fishing creeks, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you just get in a creek and you, you know, you wade up however deep you can go and you're just fishing all the visible targets and you can position yourself a little bit better. And the same with a lot of ponds, a lot of ponds. Some of them you can cast across, and some of them, you know, it's similar to lake fishing, but on a smaller level. But what I want to talk about primarily is how to be successful at fishing off the bank in a lake. So first of all, the thing you have to do is you have to determine, you know, what is the best part of the lake that you want to fish in. And a lot of this has to do with the season. So keep that in mind. If you're fishing during the colder weather months, like when that water temperature is, is under 50 degrees, you need to be on a part of the lake in a section of bank that has some deep water access to it because those fish are going to be a little bit deeper. And vice versa, as you get you know, more into the springtime of the year like we are now, uh, or even in the warmer months, that's when you want to be on a little bit flatter banks that's got some, some cover on it um, and a little bit more off-colored water. So determine, you know, the lake that you're fishing, number one, the best place that you want to be. The second thing that you have to realize or look for is sometimes you're just going to have to uh, you know get in some some hard to reach places one of the biggest mistakes anglers make when they're bank fishing is they just get on like open areas of riprap or straight rocky banks and they try to fish where the walking's easy and I can tell you right now many times the places that you fish off the bank where it's easy to get to is where you're not going to catch many fish because that's where a lot of other people fish and the, the uh, habitat's not as good. So the first thing you have to remember is don't be afraid to get in there and, you know, wade through some brush, you know, get on some, you know, rocky banks that are hard to navigate on and, uh, you know, get into those areas that are a little bit harder to get to. That's going to be the first thing. The second thing you have to realize or look for is you have to understand angles. And bank angles off bait fit on the bank fishing is the most critical aspect of catching fish on the, off the bank. What you want to look for is the, the degree of slope that the bank has off into the water, and that's going to determine your angle. A good rule of thumb, basically, if you're fishing a steep bank, you know, some short bluffs, steep rocky banks, um, you want to get down in those areas and make long parallel casts down both sides of the bank, you know, to try to cover whatever depth zone that you feel the fish are in. So casting parallel with those areas are going to be critical on the uh, little bit steeper banks. Now if you're fishing flatter banks and points particularly, and start with points, um, points are pretty much easy because you can not only fan cast down both sides of the points, but you can cast out straight off the end of the point. And sometimes when you're bank fishing off points, that angle of casting from deep to shallow is actually more effective than fishing shallow to deep from a boat. I've seen that many times. 
So points are an excellent place to, to bank fish, particularly if you can get on those points that you know don't get a lot of obvious bank pressure from close by access areas. Again, this gets all back to hiking along the area. If you have an access point where you put in at, like a boat ramp or public access, the first thing that you're gonna to have to do that's gonna better your success is to make a hike. Hike farther away from that access point to get away from where a lot of people would fish off the bank and your success is gonna be a lot better. And the third situation is when you're fishing the flatter banks with cover. And this is like, say for example, you're in the back of a cove, something like that. Um, where you've got maybe some lay down wood, you've got stumps, that type of stuff, maybe some, you know, willow trees. In that type of situation, you want to do whatever you can as far as to get the best angle to cast around that cover. And don't be afraid to wade out in the water a little bit. I mean, if you, the, the best scenario I can give you for fishing off the bank is um, be prepared, you know, to, to wade out in two or three foot of water because simply by doing that, even in the back end of the coves, particularly where the banks are flatter, it's going to give you a lot better angle and a lot better position to catch those fish in. So, you know, don't be afraid to get your feet wet when you're fishing on the bank. Lure selection. Um, one of the things that you're going to find out of bank fishing, shallow one and crankbaits are going to be good because they allow you to efficiently cover um, the, the section of the bank. Sometimes you can do the same thing with spinner baits around if the fish are up shallow, around any type of shallow cover. Um, I like to fish, you know, just the straight Texas brick worm because um, if you're bank fishing, a lot of times if you fish farther out the bank, you know, you're not going to be able to go get your bait if you're hung up. So from that standpoint, I don't like to fish baits that cost a lot of money that I may get hung up with. So shallow running crank baits is what I can usually dislodge by getting close to them. Texas rig worms, and one of my favorites is a wacky rig. I mean, a wacky rig is really good to fish off the bank because you can cover a lot of different uh, depth zones with it. It's good in two foot of water. You can throw it out there off those deeper points and let it sink down, and you know those fish just don't see it because when you're fishing off the bank, you're in a stationary position, so you don't have to worry about your boat drifting around. So you can take your time. So one of the best ways to catch them is get out on a secondary or main lake point. And this is about any time of the year. Take a wacky rig with six pound test line, fan cast it around that point out of deeper water, bring it into shallow, and just take your time. And you'd be surprised how many bass that you can catch doing that. But overall, the, the best success that I've had on bank fishing has come on this. I've been back in like coves that have 45 degree angle banks and I'm making short parallel casts down the bank, you know, just like 20 or 30 foot casts down the bank, and I make repetitive casts, and that's another advantage that you have with fishing off the bank that you don't have in a boat, is since you're lodged in a stationary position, you can make repetitive casts to the same piece of cover, and a lot of times that's what's gonna generate those strikes. So don't necessarily look at fishing off the bank as a bad thing. A lot of times it can be an advantage, actually. You can be a lot more efficient from the bank than you can in a boat. And I found a lot of my fish in tournaments like this. I've had a lot of tournaments where, and that I've almost won, where in practice I got out of my boat and I walked the bank, like to say in the back end of a creek, uh, you know, and casted while I was fishing in practice on the bank and located those fish that I could cover that water a lot quicker than getting back in there with the boat. So I've, I've used bank fishing in tournaments as, as well on top of that. So anyway, just a few bank fishing tip guys. Thought that might help you all out. Uh, keep the comments coming, man. I love the comments. It gives me story ideas. And we'll be back soon with another one. So see you all later.